Hi, this is Steve from Poker Copilot. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of using Poker Copilot's HUD. I'm also going to show you how you can modify the way the HUD looks and works while you're sitting at the poker table. I'm playing a Poker Stars cash table here. And you'll notice that we have this message put by Poker Copilot on the window. HUD shows after your first hand. That's because I've just sat at the table. Poker Copilot needs for you to have completed at least one hand so that it can gather the basic information about uh, the type of table, the number of players and so on. So I'll play out this hand. Now the hand is over. Within a few seconds, Poker Copilot has found the information it needs. And we now have these HUD panels next to each player on the table. So you'll see that we have the player name. In brackets, we have the number of hands we have for that player. Then we have the three basic statistics. If you spend any time reading about poker HUDs, you'll learn that these are the basic statistics all we always uh, are interested in. We have VPIP, which is voluntarily put money into the pot, uh, pre-flop raise, and post-flop aggression. So the 19 there means that 19% of the time when I could put money into the pot pre-flop, I did. Uh, the next statistic, pre-flop raise, 12% of the time when I had the opportunity to make a pre-flop raise, I made a pre-flop raise. And finally, post-flop regression, 67. So 67% of the time when I was still in the hand post-flop, I made a bet or a raise rather than just checking all the way through to the, uh, to the end of the hand. Maybe you don't like the position of these HUD panels. Not a problem. Just click anywhere on the player name section of the HUD panel and you can move the HUD to exactly where you want it. Now Poker Copilot will, will remember where you've moved the HUD panel to and in subsequent sessions you'll find the HUD panel will appear in the position you want it. We can make these HUD panels more compact. For example, the player name is not really necessary once you're certain that the panels are in the right place. So what I'm going to do is go to the top right hand corner of the poker table and here Poker Copilot has put a HUD control panel. Find this icon in the middle. This is the HUD configure icon. Click on it and a menu appears. Now I want to turn off player names, so I'll find player names, click on it, and suddenly the player names have gone from the panels. But maybe you want it to be even more compact. After a while you'll learn that it's always VPIP, PFR and aggression in that order and you no longer need the labels. So we can turn those labels off. Again, go to the top right hand corner, click on the HUD configure menu icon and turn off statistic labels. And there you have it, a very compact HUD display above each player. Let's go back to the top right hand corner. We've got this very long message here, table VPIP, PFR and aggression. So this is the average VPIP of all the players currently at the table. I find this very useful to get an impression as to whether I'm sitting on a loose table or a tight table. Maybe you want to turn that off. Again, go to the HUD configure menu icon, click on it, and here we have show table stats. Let's turn that off, and the table stats are gone. A very useful button here is this one. This is the HUD play and pause button. Click on that and the HUD instantly disappears from the table. This can be very useful if you just need an uncluttered table while you're making a big decision. Click on it again and the HUD instantly appears. This is just the beginning of what you can do to the Poker Copilot HUD. 
You can change what statistics are shown. You can change the color scheme, the layout of labels. You can determine whether the HUD stats are shown for all time or just for the current table. Uh, and most importantly, before I forget, you can click anywhere on the player statistics to see many more statistics for that player. So I'm going to click on my statistics here and we get this pop-up showing all sorts of statistics, almost anything you could possibly want to know about the player live at the table. This is just the start of what you can do to change the way the HUD looks and feels. To get access to all the configuration options, Go up to the menu here and find the option at the very bottom. So this gives me access to all sorts of ways to change the way the HUD works. And that is a topic I'll cover in another video.